Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we have a book haul as a result of a trade. I sent some books to Matt of Science Fiction Reads, and he in return has sent some books to me. And today I received the package. I have to say I think that Matt sent a lot more to me than I sent to him. Take a look at the corner here. He even has a sticker for his channel. In the description for this video, I'll link to the video Matt made of opening the box I sent him. But today, we get to unbox this one. Right off the bat, I see a surprise in here, a book that I hadn't asked for. Matt, this is too much. Barrington J. Bailey. We have The Soul of the Robot, The Knights of the Limits, and The Fall of Chronopolis. This is a gateway omnibus. That's amazing. There are two really big books that Matt sent me that I was requesting. I've been collecting Neil Stevenson hardcovers in his science fiction, but there is a series that is a historical series he wrote as well. Matt had two of the three volumes. Quicksilver, Volume 1 of the Baroque Cycle. And we have the map work inside. Deckled edges. And a more detailed map of London on the end sheet. He also had the second book, The Confusion. Once again, we have some map work, deckled edges, and some more maps in the back. Thank you so much for these, Matt. And that's not all. A couple other books I had requested from Matt were from the Star Wolf series by Edmund Hamilton. I have the third one, and Matt just happened to have volume one and two. So from Ace here, we have Star Wolf number one from Edmund Hamilton, The Weapon from Beyond. And number two in the series, The Closed Worlds. And I have number three here on my shelf. The World of the Star Wolves. So now, thanks to Matt, I have the entire series. Matt was talking about a very interesting book, Stargate by Pauline Gedge. This is a book that he was interested in potentially doing a buddy read. This particular copy is in great shape. I've never heard of it before. This is from 1982. Matt and I often send pictures of books that we find. That's how we knew that we wanted to exchange some books. I certainly wasn't expecting this one, though. The Best of Walter M. Miller, Jr. One of my favorite authors. I remember him talking about how this cover was in rough condition. You might see some of that here at the bottom. But what Matt does is he uses Brodart covers on the jackets. And that makes it this shiny cover now. It looks great, Matt. And it kind of covers up any tears or inconsistencies in the jacket that there might be. So this one came out in 1980. And here are the stories. Now, 
This is so great. Thank you so much, Matt. I think I owe you a few books. There's just one more book I'd like to talk about. It came in the mail today. It was a pre-order that I made quite a while ago. I've been reading through the SF Masterworks very slowly, and I read a new one for this year called Hero's Journey. Well, I just received the sequel that they published in September called The Unforsaken Hero by Sterling E. Lanier. I plan to give this book a read very soon, so watch for a review. So there you have it. My book haul from a very generous Matt at Science Fiction Reads and one book from the Science Fiction Masterworks that I'd ordered. Let me know what you think of some of these books. Until next time, keep reading.